Nigel, are you ultimately pleased with a point tonight? It's a difficult one because I thought we had situations and chances to win the game throughout. I uh, didn't think we were a very good first half at all, despite having a great chance after a few minutes. Uh, Ty's gone in with a header and he's so unlucky to come off the goal, his knee onto the post. Laps thought he might have been over the line. Uh, so we could have even nicked Lee, but I didn't think we were anywhere near where we have been. Uh, but I thought the second half was much improved. But once again, our Achilles heel, two mistakes, uh, cost us a goal. Yeah, you must have been pulling your hair out after you saw that uh, goal from Newport on 75. Oh, well, you've got to that point. It's us in the ascendancy, I think. It, everybody's going to win it, it looks like us. Uh, you know, we've hit the post again in the second half and how are the, it's not gone, the rebound's not gone to a, <laughs> uh, a Mansfield shirt, I don't know. Uh, so we, we feel as though we're pressing and then George Maris gives the ball away in a very dangerous position. Uh, lad hits a reasonable shot and he goes straight through the goalkeeper. So either one of them can, can stop the goal. Uh, but for 15 minutes to go to get a point from that situation and then nearly go on and win it, ultimately pleased with that. Yeah, overall, Stang definitely de deserved of a point. Yeah. Like you said earlier, uh, Mansfield perhaps could have played better, but with that said, you had a lot of good chances to score. That was it. Uh, it was a strange one, because even at half-time, you're coming in and you're not very happy. We had had situations, and we restricted them. Uh, lad put a brilliant free kick in, and they nearly scored in the first half. But apart from that, not too much. But when we stepped it up a little bit second half, I thought we created so many situations and chances. Stephen Quinn, again, outstanding, getting into great positions in the box, cutting it back, couldn't quite get a shot off or they got a block. We put some good set plays in ourselves, Tyrese put some great corners in uh, and ultimately, I, th I think ultimately we were just a bit disappointed we didn't win. What does it say about the squad in the manner that you came back after they scored in the 75th minute? Because that was perhaps, from then on, Mansfield's best spell. Yeah, it was. We, we really started then uh, with a great deal of urgency. Uh, and playing well. Um, it's another top team that we've more than matched for, for large parts of the game and another team that we, we could well have beaten here. It's getting a bit frustrated that we're not getting the wins. However, it's only a couple of defeats now, another point on the board. We used to talk about keeping that scoreboard ticking over. Uh, another point towards safety uh, and it's lovely as well for Tyrese to get his first goal. I thought he played well again tonight. Uh, and it's, a, it's a big thing when you, you get your first senior goal in the league so everyone, everyone's delighted for him. You could, tell, you could tell that by the, well, he, by the way he celebrated. My yep. goodness, he, uh, he enjoyed that one. Yeah, and so he should. Uh, you know, the only thing is you've got to get your breath back because they, they've got the ball and you've got to make sure that when you get back to the halfway line there, you've got some uh, air in your lungs and some energy because you've got to go and get the ball back uh, and make sure that we don't concede you know, quickly afterwards. But uh, we're delighted for him. It was a great finish as well. Yeah. Great finish. You know, he went and blocked the lad. Maybe their lad should have cleared it. I'm sure Mike, uh, Mike will be thinking that from their point of view. But uh, once he got into that position, it was a great finish. I think he had a hat-trick of opportunities to mm. score prior to that. Yeah, he had some good heading, headed, headed chances as well tonight. Uh, but he's getting in the good positions. Uh, and then, of course, you get the benefit of Reedy coming on fresh for the last sort of 10, 15 minutes as well uh, and having an impact. Yeah, you put Jamie Reed on... Uh, with the clear intent of going for the jugular in the last 15. Yeah, when you 1-0 down at home, you know, we were going to put him on anyway. I'd written the card out. It was just who we were going to bring off. Uh, and uh, Ollie, was, Ollie Clark was just physically struggling a little bit. Uh, so he was the obvious one that was coming off anyway. Uh, and then we got the three up top. And I thought we caused him a lot of problems. I mean, it's hypothetical, but had the game gone on perhaps five minutes more, you might have snatched a winner. You never know. That's the nice thing. In the last couple of games, we've been drawing and it's been us looking for the winner. You know, and we think that's the best way of defending the lead. Us going forward and us trying to get another goal or defending a draw or whatever. You know, when you're on the back foot yourselves like we were you know, at Crawley when they've had the chance. No, let's play up the other end and let's us go and get another goal if anybody. So that's nice. The last couple of games we've done that. Do you leave here a satisfied man tonight? In some ways, in that we've, we've matched uh, another top team who uh, are going for promotion. They're a good side as well. And also, I think there's one team really you don't want to go 1 0 down against with 15 minutes ago against Newport. So, from that point of view, the response was great. We created chances and situations and thoroughly deserved our, at least a point. Thanks, Nigel. Cheers.